guys, we just did another video and we got that one and all of these ones. And the polish is on here. It's really gorgeous and I like them. And that's. And. Looking at the next video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a really great day. Today we're going to actually look at a new collection out by L'Oreal. I'm so excited. I'm always excited at their displays because, as you probably know, they are my favorite drugstore nail polish brand, pretty much. Because sometimes I feel like, I really like selling Hanson and all their different lines, but I feel like sometimes they can be hit or miss. But usually L'Oreal hits it spot on and they always have gorgeous colors in each of their new displays or releases or collections or whatever you want to call them. I found this at Rite Aid. It's called the Chateau Royale collection and it says Escape to Bordeaux in seven vintage shades. So here's the range here of shades that we're going to be looking at and of course I'm going to show them all to you up close live application so that you can see how they apply. I just when I saw these in the store I just went <gasps> and the girl was actually um putting them out as I passed her and I was like can I look at those <laughs> can I just like creep in here and look at what this is and she was like still stalking it and I was like oh my goodness those are so gorgeous so basically it's different ranges of pinks and purples and like mauves and so uh, so 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 beautiful um anyway there wasn't anything here that I didn't absolutely love I thought they were all really great formula at just two coats so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it and take a look at each polish individually. So first off, I'm gonna go in number order. As you know, L'Oreal numbers their polishes in each collection. Number 201, Vineyard Blush. So this is a very, very light, very, very light pink. It's almost white. It has a whisper of pink in it, and honestly, I love it. I think it's so great. I think sometimes when you're wearing a white, it can just be too stark, you know what I mean? So something a little bit more soft and romantic, they just put a little tiny hint of pink in this one. Sorry if you can hear Maya, she must be barking at the neighbor dog. Um, but I really, really liked it, and I thought it had a great formula for a nice whitish pink. And lots of times they don't have a great formula because it's kind of hard to do. So I was happy with this one. Let's take a look. Next up, number 203 is called Wine Spritzer. I really loved this, you guys, and it's a pink. And so it was really out of the ordinary for me to go fall so hard for a color like this. But it's kind of a mix between pink and purple, and it's like, it's rich. Like, it feels like it has some depth to it. I just really, really love this. So two coats on this one again. Let's take a look at Wine Spritzer. This next one is the light purple in this collection. I'm wearing it on my nails today. It's called High Spirits, number 205. Oh, so gorgeous. This might be my favorite, but it's really hard to pick in this collection. I really love this one though. It's a dusty light purple. So gorgeous. Let's take a look.
Alright, next up is number 207. This is called Pinot Purple, like Pinot Grigio. Um, this is the darkest color in the collection. As you can see, it's this nice, deep, dark purple. It's not so dark that it's like looks black on the nail or anything. Um, it's just absolutely that perfect level of dark purple for me. I just think it's so gorgeous. Great at two coats. So divine. Let's take a look. The last three in the collection are more um, like kind of berry to dusty rose kind of shades. We're kind of moving in that direction. So this one is actually the brightest shade in this collection. It's number 209 Wicked Wine. And as you can see, it's like a lightish berry, but it's kind of bright. So I think it may be raspberry, so maybe like a dusty raspberry. So it's not so, so bright and in your face, but definitely compared to the rest of them, I think it's the brightest. It's gorgeous. So delicious, just like the rest of them. His general theme here going with this collection. So let's see how swatches and two coats. Number 211 is called Sangria Splash, and this one is, I'd say, your basic dusty rose shade. So this is what I think of when I think of a dusty rose. It just has a little bit of like tan in there um, with the rose, and another great one at two coats. Just delicious. This last one, number 213, is called Pass the Vino. This one is very similar to the one I just showed you, except it's like more tan. So it's like more of a nude, the most nude out of the collection. And if you wanted like a little bit more nude in that one I just showed you, then this is the one you're going to want to look to. Another great one at two coats, Pass the Vino. Let's see how it swatches. Alright, and that was the whole collection, seven pieces in this collection. Um, I just thought that they were all fabulous. If you happen to spot this display in your Rite Aid, that's where I find mine. Um, you might find it at Walgreens too, perhaps, um, or CVS. I would say if any of these look good to you, I would suspect that these are probably going to fly off the display because these colors are just so flattering, I think, to most skin tones. They're just really nice. Um, colors for this time of year. I don't know. There was something striking about this display. I just I just feel like these colors are just going to disappear. So um, you might want to keep your eyes peeled for it. I did spot this probably 
it's probably almost two weeks ago by the time you're seeing this because I purchased this before baby girl came along and then this is a little I'm filming this a little while after she's born so anyway you might have already spotted this out so I hope that this is helpful to you to know if you wanted to pick any of these up I did purchase them on a buy one get one half off sale I did wait until that sale came along because these are six dollars a piece if you don't purchase them on sale in any way so basically I got them for 25% off and for me any kind of a deal is always better than nothing so um Yep, that is the whole review. I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you back in my next review. Have a great day. Bye.